Hey everyone, Matt here from VapeRev. Rebuildable atomizers have become a staple in the vape industry, and anyone who has conducted a little research will be well aware that there are a seemingly endless array of options to choose from. Although this may seem overwhelming for some, the fact is that all rebuildables currently available fall into one of three main categories. Genesis-style atomizers, rebuildable tank atomizers, and rebuildable dripping atomizers. Each type is characterized by the way it functions and what materials it utilizes for its coil. Understanding the differences in types of rebuildables, including how they work and what materials they use, is a critical component when selecting an atomizer to fit your lifestyle. So this EDU will focus on the different types of rebuildable atomizers, how they operate, and the materials used to rebuild their coils. Hopefully by the end of this video you will have gained a better understanding of the options you have for rebuildable atomizers, and an idea of which type will work best for you. So here we go! The first category I'm going to discuss are rebuildable dripping atomizers. These tankless atomizers generally have a simple design, which often makes them rather easy to use. Like all rebuildables, dripping addies utilize a wick and coil to produce vapor. The wicks absorb e-liquid that is dripped onto the atomizer coil to then be heated by the coil, producing vapor. The process of dripping liquid onto the atomizer coil must be repeated regularly since there is no tank to automatically supply the wick with e-liquid. This is where they get the name dripping atomizers or drippers. The majority of dripping atomizers feature one positive post and two negative posts, which allow for versatility and rebuild options including single and dual coil builds. Drippers usually have at least two air holes drilled into their top caps to provide adequate air supply. Dripping atomizers are most popular among vape enthusiasts who enjoy the heavy amounts of vapor they are capable of producing. An example of a rebuildable dripping atomizer is the 3D Dripper by Atmo Mahani. The next category I'll be discussing are rebuildable tank atomizers. A simple way to describe this type of rebuildable is as a dripper that has an e-liquid reservoir since they both use the same materials for their atomizer coil. Rebuildable tank atomizers come in a variety of different styles and may be basic or have more advanced features such as variable vaping temperature and adjustable e-liquid flow. A nice characteristic that separates these addies from drippers is the presence of a tank. This e-liquid reservoir, or tank, provides a continuous supply of e-liquid to the wick without having to drip. Rebuildable tank atomizers normally feature one positive and one negative post, making them capable of utilizing single coil builds. This type of atomizer is popular amongst people who enjoy intense flavor, good vapor production, and the convenience that a tank has to offer. Examples of rebuildable tank atomizers are the K-Fun Light Plus by Sfomesto and the Squape by Statquam. Lastly, I will be covering Genesis style rebuildables. This type of atomizer also comes in a variety of styles and has an e-liquid reservoir of some kind. Genesis addies usually feature an atomizer deck that is positioned above the tank. One or more wicks run from the tank up to the atomizer deck and supply e-liquid to the coils when the addy is tilted slightly, similar to fluid running through a straw. Genesis tank atomizers normally feature one positive post, at least one anchor point that acts as a negative post, and often several holes in the atomizer deck that may be used for wicks or filling the tank. Genesis addies have earned the reputation for providing intense and unaltered flavors, while lasting longer between builds due to the durability of the materials they use. Examples of Genesis style atomizers are the Steam Turbine by Doc Dave, the Dome by Atmo Mahani, and the Arrow by Team Rampage. Now that I've talked about the main types of rebuildable atomizers out there, I want to briefly go over some of the materials available for rebuilding coils and the differences between them. Generally speaking, single coil builds are suitable for someone who wants a cooler, more flavorful vape with a good amount of vapor production. On the flip side, dual coil builds are ideal for someone who enjoys a warmer vape with heavy amounts of vapor production. Keep in mind that many e-liquids lose a little flavor when vaped at high temperatures. All atomizers utilize some sort of resistance wire to generate the heat necessary to transform e-liquid into vapor. Canthal wire is used for this most commonly. Drippers and rebuildable tank atomizers are capable of using either eco-wool or cotton for their wicks. Eco-wool is silica that has been braided to provide a clean and flavorful vape. The braiding also adds some durability, meaning that it lasts longer when compared to normal silica. Cotton also provides clean flavor, but lacks durability since it isn't as resistant to heat as EcoWool is. The key material used in rebuilding Genesis-style atomizers is stainless steel mesh. One benefit of wicks that utilize this material is that they generally last for longer periods of time between builds. Also, since stainless steel wicks act as a tube instead of absorbing e-liquid, they don't alter the flavor of e-liquid as much as other materials might. 
One thing to point out is that stainless steel is a conductive metal, so it must be oxidized before use to prevent atomizer shorts and hot spots. Well everyone, that's a wrap on this week's EDU. As always, I hope you found all the information useful in helping you to understand all the different types of rebuildable atomizers on the market and which would be best suited for you. If you'd like more information about any of the products I mentioned in this video, you can find them all at shop.vaporev.com.